Unplanned urbanization is a disturbing feature of modern development in third world countries and it manifests itself in the mushrooming of colonies like this one. One major problem in such colonies is the disposal of solid and liquid wastes which invariably creates foul smelling sore spots and dirty nullas which are the breeding grounds of deadly diseases. Moreover, due to lack of proper drainage during the monsoons, the rainwater floods the thoroughfares. Creating and running centralized solid and liquid waste disposal systems involving the laying of sewage and drainage lines and waste treatment plants is an expensive proposition which is increasingly going beyond the reach of cash-strapped municipal bodies. The only way out of this impasse is to have decentralized systems of waste disposal which as far as is possible treat and dispose the waste at the point of origin itself. This house in Indore, the office of the Dhas Gramin Vikas Kendra, is testimony to successful waste disposal and natural recycling that not only solves the problem of waste but also recharges water and saves electrical energy in the process. All the waste water generated in this house is treated in this septic tank and soak pit and recharged into the ground. The rainwater is also recharged into the ground through a system of underground sand piles. Three leafy flowering creepers have been planted next to the soak pit and they have thrived on the water from it to grow and cover the house totally. They evapotranspirate the water from the soak pit and keep the house cool from the outside. A trellis has been constructed on the roof to support these creepers and provide a thick green canopy which prevents the terrace from getting heated and further cools the house. The green waste from the kitchen is composted in these drums and used as manure in the garden. The dried leaves from the creepers, plants and trees are mulched in this pit on the roof and also used for manuring. So alluring is the green ambience that birds of all kinds nest in it as for example this dove has done in the secure place on top of the water tank which is covered to keep it cool. Even in the height of summer when the temperature in Indore crosses 45 degrees centigrade the house remains cool and green. The house has been designed in such a way that there is considerable cross ventilation. Khas grass curtains have been hung on the windows and these are kept wet with sprinkler water supply systems so as to cool the air that passes through them. Thus, a natural air cooling system is in place that obviates the need to run fans, let alone air coolers and air conditioners, saving on electricity and greenhouse gas production. All that this natural waste disposal and ventilation system has required is Rs 200 per square meter of built up area and some commitment to environment-friendly living and the benefits are invaluable.